It is main event time here to rumble down 18 ATG Radio Boxing Trivia Challenge Series. And right now we're going to be welcomed by two future world champions, two friends, sparring partners, training partners, colliding to find out who knows more shit about boxing. And I'm going to pass it over to our ring announcer, Mr. Timothy Cudges. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening presented to you by ATG Radio in association with nobody else. First, from from the red corner, hailing from Newark, New Jersey, he is not the past, he is Joe, the future! In the red corner, going out of London, England, he is Derek Delboy Chisora. Delboy, you're the best. All right, gentlemen, we appreciate. <laughs> wait, 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 you guys, doing this. Yo, Gary, we gotta do your. We gotta. He's gotta get his Michael Buffer on. Sorry, Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, we rumble left, we rumble right, we rumble up. But right now, for the main event of the evening, we're gonna rumble down. All right, gentlemen. Derek Shasora, Joe, the future Hanks, gentlemen. We appreciate you joining us tonight. I'm just gonna go over the rules real quick. Each competitor gets five boxing trivia questions per piece, a piece in regulation. At the end of regulation, whoever has the most answered questions correctly is declared the winner. In the event that there is a tie, we go to a two-question apiece overtime. If it is still a tie after overtime, we go to an unpopular draw. Gentlemen, you have five generous seconds to answer each question when it is rendered Del Boy, you are the veteran. You have fought for a heavyweight title. You are the veteran in boxing. We are going to give you the option to give who gets to go first in this challenge. Joe. Joe, your first question is, who did Chris Bird defeat to win his second world title, the vacant IBF heavyweight title? Ali Klitschko. That is incorrect. No, 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 I'm sorry. That's, I'm sorry. That's the defendant title. Uh, should he beat, uh, was it Maurice? Five seconds. Uh, Four. Three. I want you to know that this is going to be pissed at me. One. Uh, was it, no, wasn't it? I don't care. Five seconds. Five somebody. seconds is up. Five seconds is up, Joe. I apologize. The answer we were looking for was Evander. Holyfield. Yeah, hey, I knew that. Evander Holyfield. Holyfield. I knew that. Damn it. So, Chris, I apologize. Who did my negotiating? How come I got announced first? I got to get, you know, because he fought for the title first. You know, this is bad negotiating on my team part. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we faxed over the contract, man. Once the contracts are faxed, signed, sealed, delivered, we just we just rumble down. Derek Shasora, your first question is, who were Lennox Lewis's last Two opponents. Somebody about the UK. Are you kidding me? Um, Vitali Klitschko and um, Rockman. Incorrect. I on which one? Vitali Klitschko and Mike Tyson were Lennox and, Lewis's uh, last two opponents. Joe Hanks, question number two. In what city? Did Lennox Lewis versus Mike Tyson take place? Memphis. Memphis is Tennessee. correct. Had the UK answer right. Derek Shasura, your second question is, who did Joe Calzaghe defeat to win the WBO super middleweight title, his first world title? Chris Eubank. Correct. We are tied one apiece. Joe Hanks, we go to your third question. Comes in the form of a true 
or false? True or false? Muhammad Ali defeated George Foreman twice as a professional. Oh, five seconds. Correct. That's false. That's correct. Derek Shasora, your third question comes in a form of true or false. True or false? Mike Tyson stopped Frank Bruno in both of their pro fights. That one getting easy. True. Correct. We are tied. <laughs> I mean, really, really, Frank. Who did the negotiating? Frank Warren. <laughs> so, what are you complaining for? So, who set this up, man? So, what are you complaining for? The, the you know Guardia what? called us and told us to make it tough. <laughs> we have to keep you guys busy, just in case. We got to keep you guys busy. Question, Joey. Your your fourth question is: What is Travis Walker's nickname? Freight train. Correct. Derek Shasora, your fourth question is: What is James Tony's nickname? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding? James Tony? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Who's James Tony? <laughs> James, former former middleweight, super middleweight. I don't know that. I don't know. That is incorrect. We the answer we were looking for is lights out Tony. James lights out Tony. I wouldn't One remember that. I had to remember Travis. Give me some easy questions. That they are here. We got it. We here. We go. I got a question number five for Joe Hanks. This is a, this is a tough one. Hey, Joe, you are up. You are currently up three to two, going into the fifth and final regulation question. Who was Vladimir Klitschko's last opponent in the United States? Mm. Vlad, who was Vladimir Klitschko's last opponent in the United States? Five seconds. Okay, let me see. Four. All right, wasn't Lennox. Three. Stop Two. Googling it, Joe. One. I'm not Googling yet. Give me Lennox. Call it Lennox. Time is up. The it's answer Linux. we were looking for Tony is Sultan Abragamov. We were looking for Sultan that, Abragamov. Oh, that was, you said Vladimir Vitaly. That was Vladimir's last opponent. You said Vitaly, didn't you? No, I said Vladimir. I repeated it twice. Oh, I no, no, you say Vladimir. You, you say you say Vitali. You said I said Vitali. Vitali. You said yeah, Frank, Vitali. that's a name you can't forget. Sultan Abramov. I mean, come on. <laughs> He's about, did, yeah, wait, guys, most did, 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 guy. I, I, was, did I, I said Vitali. I thought. I swear, I said Vladimir twice. I'm reading. Nah, you said Vitali. So you said Vitali. I, I didn't care with Abramov for that fight. I knew the answer. They fought in New York. Did a redo, Frank. All right, we're going to do hey, a Come on, Frank, man. This, you know, how much is Warren paying you for this, man? Tell me how much Frank is paying you for this. <laughs> we're we're going to do Joe, why are you? <laughs> we, we, have plenty, we have plenty of re-questions here. Uh, your opponent, Derek Shasora, also agreed that I said Vitaly, even though it would have behooved him to say I said Vladimir because it would have been a wrong answer. But in this case, your new fifth and final question and it's not an easy one. Name. I'm sorry. Who has more professional wins? Shane Mosley, Oscar De La Hoya, or Felix Trinidad? Who has more Shane professional Mosley. wins? Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley. Well, your answer? That's my answer. That is correct. Play against there. Derek Shasor, your fifth and final regulation question. He's still going to ask him a question. He can't win this one unless you're going to give him two more questions because you guys are all no, working no, no. together. That's, you guys in cahoots. I figured this out. Oh, no, you, Joey, we got this. We got this. He has to get it just to, the score, even up the score as much as he could. Who is the first fighter to defeat Audley Harrison? First fighter to defeat Audley Harrison? Correct. Yes. I know this one. Five seconds. You fought him. And you give him a hint, man. You know what, Frank? I'm I'm boycotting the station. It's oh wait, no, Joe, Joe, it's already. Like Michael Sprott. No, no. That is incorrect. 
The, that's incorrect. He didn't. He didn't. You, you, he fought Dan, Derek. He fought Danny Williams, right? Yeah. Oh, was the Danny Williams? I keep on thinking it was uh, Dominic. We were looking for Danny Williams. We were looking for Danny Williams uh, with a score of four to two. We pass it over to our ring announcer, Tim Cudges. Ding, 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 ding. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of the main event for Rumble. ATG Radio presents Rumble Down 18. He isn't the present. He is Joe, the future. Hey! Do I get to say something to the crowd because I feel like this was all fixed. Everything was fixed. Everything was in Jazora's favor. They had me come in as the opponent. I got announced first. I bet if it was a poster, I have half my body on it. You know, I'm starting to see how you guys, everybody, are just, you know, you guys treat them like a Oh, my God, Joe, stop moaning. <laughs> I see how you get treated. We can call that we can call that evens anyway, Joe. You know, Joe, you know, Joe, you won. You know what? I know I won, but you know I'm still mad. I'm still angry, man. I feel like I didn't get my just due. You know. Well, I, Joe, I know Joe, it, you look. We, we do we do post <laughs> we do post matchup interviews. We do post matchup interviews. We got Michael Doss here who does the post Mike uh, post matchup interviews. Michael Doss. Joe, I've never seen somebody as mad as you after winning a match. I'm I'm furious, you know. I'm <laughs> furious right now. I am so furious. Anything about this, man? I just felt like you guys brought me in here as a sacrificial lamb, and you won. You guys trying to make Del Boy look good, and you guys set me up. You know, I I guess you promised y'all one of those nice little vacations over there at the Royal Ascot over in England. And you know, it's, I don't want to go there right now. It's a warmer here. He did, yeah, actually, he did. The last time we talked to him, he did say he did say he pick us up I in the airport that. when we come to I his fight. I knew there was so some we, type of person. We were kickbacks. <laughs> we were trying. No, no. Look, we, I, I'm surprised here, Mike. I don't, Doss. I don't. I'm surprised. James Tony, Del, Del Boy. You've never heard of James Tony before. Nah. <laughs> Very crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. I think. There's well, do you want to hear something? I don't. I don't really like, like read up on boxing to be honest with you, because uh, it don't really interest me like in other ways. I only check the heavyweight game, and uh, it, there's no point of me like reading about the lighter weights and the further weights because no, I'm never going to fight those guys anyway. So. Uh, no way. No, I've never met anybody that doesn't know who James Tony is. I know you're you're joking. I no, I think I think no. Actually, you know what? I don't I don't blame him. But Derek, I got to give you props, man. If 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 you're not one that follows boxing that much, you know the sport, you did pretty good. I I figured Joe Hanks was going to come this here. Shit here. Can you are you kidding me? Are you guys no. kidding me over here? Did you guys just give him a, a nice little pat on the back after losing? <laughs> What are you talking about? Start, You're Googling I'm everything you were asking about. I want to start calling him <laughs> Joe LaMana. Because <laughs> you're whining like <laughs> LaMana, man. <laughs> and I, I, I know Derek, he got Jason right there Googling all the answers he got wrong to make sure they were wrong. And, and <laughs> <laughs> you were right as well. <laughs> they probably got the questions in the van. <laughs> well, what's the plans anyway? Well, I'm coming to the states in in two months anyway. Hey man, you know you got to come out. We're gonna we're gonna have you come out, man. We're gonna keep you out of jail when you come, though, man. You gonna you can't come out here and get locked up, man. We're gonna we're gonna take you to the ghetto. We're gonna take him in Newark for a little while. You need to go. Yeah, I think I think I think Del Boy fit out, fit in good in Newark, man. I think uh, I think you get along just just right in that uh in that part of town, man. Del, so Del we're Boy, gonna, we're gonna take, we're gonna take Del Boy down take care of you. Joey, don't Joey, take me to the ghetto. That's all. No, don't take me to the hood. Oh no, nah. we're gonna take you right, right down in North New Jersey. It's not even. It's really nice. You're gonna see birds chirping. You're gonna see all kinds of stuff, man. Yeah, because really? I live in Hampstead, and that's like very nice and quiet. You know where I live, anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get you a nice, your nice, get you a nice rental car. You can leave the keys and the ignition all you want. You can do all that stuff. It's gonna be safe, safest place in the world, North New Jersey. We'll yeah. Get you down there. You do. Oh, it's good to hear. <laughs> hey, listen, 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 guys, let's get let's get, let's get into a brief interview with the both of you gentlemen. I mean, uh, you know, first and foremost, Joe Hank, congratulations. We we do thank both you guys for doing this. This is fun. I know uh, the UK and the United States boxing fans are going to enjoy this. But Joe Hank, I got to ask you this, man. You know, 
coming off of your, your victory in December, what is Star Boxing, what do your team have in store for you come 2013? Oh, man, we, we got a big year ahead of us, man. You know, uh, we, we're, like I said, we're looking to make, you know, a big TV debut and uh, come out and put on a good show. And, you know, sky's going to be the limit this year. You know, we're going to really step up and really look to take on some big heavy hitters in the division and, you know, start getting the world, you know, a glimpse into the future. So that's the plan, and that's what we're going to execute this year. That's what Starbucks have in mind. That's what Mike Barrero have in mind on the team. We're all excited, man. We're all excited. Now, I, I, one more question i got to ask you on this, Joe. I mean, look, man, you're you're – you're 21 and 0. You 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 know you're at that point, man. It seems like to me you are. You're getting a lot of keep busy fights, man. I mean, you're moving up in the rankings, but but I mean, when something's got to give, man. 2013 HBO Showtime, one of these That's stations, the man, have to show you. Yeah. That's the plan, man. You know, but you know, in all fairness, man, you know everybody's not itching to throw their name out there to jump in there with me, man. Guys, know I'm a very dangerous guy. You know, I'm going to come and bring you, you know, bring my A game. And, you know, they know my pedigree. They know I've been in there with everybody in boxing. And, you know, they know I can bring it. They know I'm no chump, no pushover. And, you know, I really got the good. So everybody's not, you know, really interested in throwing their young, hot prospect in there with me or, you know, some guy who's been around for a while. You know, uh, you know, I commend the fighters who, you know, who get in there and just jump in there with anybody and, you know, go ahead and roll the dice. So I think, I think this year is going to be a real – Good, important year, amazing year for me, man. I, I've gotten all the experience I've needed. You know, I've been around the block twice, so I'm just ready to go, man. You know, HBO, Showtime, we've been talking it with everyone, and everybody's excited. We just going to get, get another prospect with their name on the contract, and we're going to make it happen. I mean, look, your counterpart over in the U.K., another guy we want to see on the big screen as far as boxing goes. We want to see him get back in the ring. Um, it was your opponent tonight, Derek Chisora. Del Boy, we, we, and we, we, you know, you let us know licensing issues is basically going to keep you off of the 16th of March card. Any updates that you could give us, man, let us know. I mean, you know, you coming back to the ring is a big, big event. You know, a lot of people consider you boxing's bad boy, man. We got to know when Del Boy's getting back inside of the square circle. Uh, uh, definitely. Definitely. I'll be, I want to fight on the 16th, but we'll see what happens because I have to go see the board, uh, the licensed people on the 12th of next month. So uh, after that, then we announce exactly if, we are, if I'm fighting on the 16th. But I'm ready to fight now anyway, so I've been, I've been training for the last three months. Now, the last time we talked to you, you mentioned Manuel Char. You, we, we spoke to you in, in December. You were hoping to get that fight, I think, for this uh, Rural Britannia show on the 16th of March. But now, you know, Manuel Char went out there and said he's not interested. He wants Klitschko again, uh, this and that. Is there anybody he's, he's, he's going to get, get beaten up. But yeah, he's, he hasn't got the right style to fight to fight these guys. You know, he needs to come to London and fight me instead of to go to Germany, you know. Because most of these fighters that just go to Germany, they just pawn them off, you know. They, they just treat you badly in Germany, you know. So he needs to come and fight me first. What, besides Man we'll start. What, what are, who are some names that you're, you're looking at squaring up with? Um... I was gonna try and get that that that, that guy Chris Ariola to come down, but I don't think he likes the English weather. And uh, right now, uh, I don't. Right now, last time I spoke to Frank, he said, uh, "Don't worry, I'm gonna get a good opponent for you." So I was like, "Oh, then fine." I, you know, and, I, and let's I'll say like this, man. I understand if there is any frustration, but you know, hey, uh, Joe Hanks, obviously, you move forward in the ATG Trivia Challenge Series, man. We we are, you know, you are obviously contractually obligated to compete once again, no matter what the conspiracy is. Del Boy Shakur, oh, we know you're all the way in London right now. We'd love to get you back on here to kind of get some redemption. Um, you know, obviously Joe Hanks pulled it out here. Is there a name that you would maybe like to face again in some trivia sometime in the future mm -hmm. that we can provide for you? Yeah, man, just get back, get Joe back, man. I want a rematch. We we like to see that rematch, Joe. I'm gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, talk to Frank Warren and see what um what questions that we could give him because you know the the conspiracy is uh is running wild. But no, gentlemen, all um all all jokes aside, man, we appreciate you guys there. Um, you can follow Joe Hanks at Joe the Future on Twitter at Derek Shasora. Um, you got a couple of Twitters on there. I know it's the one that has more followers, if I'm not mistaken. 
Who, who's got followers. more followers on Twitter? No, you know, and I'm saying this, you have about five or six followers on Twitter. I mean, five or six Twitter accounts on there. I don't know which one. Okay, no, this one is at Del Boy Chasseur. I'm sorry, at Del Boy Chasseur on Twitter. D E L L B O Y C H I S O R A. No, you got like six Twitter accounts. Yeah, you know, in England, they just take everybody's things. They don't really care, you know. They like that around here. But um, uh, any final words, gentlemen, before we, we uh, let you guys go? Hey, man. Appreciate yeah, Joe. Uh, oh, man. Go ahead, Del Boy. You go ahead. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you such a crybaby? <laughs> I was about to say it's good to speak hey, to this, you, brother. This is Del Boy's world. Go ahead, man. You know, uh, Frank has set all this up. I can't even decline another, sh- you know, show. Obviously, I'm locked into this now. So, you know, we're just going to let you go ahead, though, boy. It's your world. Go ahead, man. You say hello to Coach for me or your team. Tell them I said hello. And uh, thanks, guys, for having us on your station. You know, last time we spoke, we spoke about two months ago. So uh, I'll let you know after the 12th. I'll send you a tweet, say if I got my license or not. All right, man. We're gonna do well, that. Thanks a lot for having me. Double, we keep in touch, man. We're gonna get you on sooner, sooner than later, man. We always appreciate your time. I know it's a little bit later in London. Uh, Joey, the future, Hanks, man. You know, any final words out there? Yeah, man. I appreciate you guys having me come in as the black sheep of this crew, and uh, you know, let me do everything second and last, and um, you know, giving me the hard questions. So I, I just want to say thank you guys. I thought you guys were over here in the states. I thought you guys were gonna be a little biased and give me some home cooking. You guys didn't do that, so, uh, yeah. but no, honestly, man, thank you guys for having me on, man. Del Boy, tell Charles and Jay and everybody, I said, hey, man, stay out the cakes. Tell the girls don't be giving you all that chocolate and the sweets, man. You got a fight coming up. And uh, no more interviews with the little dog sitting on your lap, man. You know how many people I had to defend that against? I said, no, man, he's really a bad boy, man. Hey, bad boys have little dogs on their lap. <laughs> My dog is here. Where is Killer, actually? He's around the house. <laughs> Yeah, man, so, man, see you guys, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, and catch you guys next time. All right, thanks. Thank you, Joe Hanks. Thank you, uh, Derek Shasura. Um, sensational main event. Uh, two sensational fighters. Uh, look out for them. Thank you. God bless. Bye. God bless you, man. Thank you.